want to talk about the power of the female brain. The female brain is so unique that I'm so excited to share this with the whole world. Now, I want to talk about the different areas. The first area is with the hippocampus of the female brain. The hippocampus is the memory center of the brain. A woman's hippocampus is slightly larger than a man's hippocampus. And so women have the capacity to remember more, even though that includes both positive and negative memories. But women have the capacity to remember more. And in case you think that to what extent, to what advantage is it if a person can remember more? So I'll just pose two questions to you. Which would you prefer? A lawyer who remembered all your details of hand or a lawyer who does not? Or who do you prefer? A doctor who remembers all your details of hand or a doctor who does not? And don't forget that memory consolidation is directly related to creativity, is directly related to proactivity and high willpower and is directly related to stronger cognitive functions. That's the first thing. The second area where a woman's brain is unique is in the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum is the multitasking or task switching center of the brain. A woman's corpus callosum is thicker than a man's corpus callosum. So women can switch tasks or engage in different tasks, multiple tasks at the same time. Let's talk about the third one. The third area is in the anterior cingulate cortex. It's the part of the brain responsible for weighing options. So women have the capacity to weigh more options than men. A man can go to a grocery store wanting to buy detergent and he just looks at one or two options. A woman will go to the same store and look at maybe six or seven options in trying to form a decision. And it has been proven by behavioral scientists that the more options you can weigh, the better decisions you can take. And so that is an edge that the female brain has. Now the fourth area where I would like to talk about the uniqueness of a woman's brain is that women have an ability to even think when they are stressed. When a man is stressed, blood flow to his brain stops. When a woman is stressed, blood flow to her brain is even faster. Can you beat that? Now, one more area. A woman's hypothalamus is smaller than a man's hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is the part of the brain responsible for hunger and satiation. And so women do not eat as much as men. And men have a larger appetite because their hypothalamus is bigger. So, which means that women can engage more in fasting than men and fasting of course is the eighth wonder of the world as regards health because when you are fasting you are detoxifying your body don't forget that Yoshinuro Oshumi the Nobel Prize winner in 2016-2017 in medicine created or came up with that theory of autophagy showing that when we engage in prolonged fasting our body cells begin to recreate themselves that's an edge for women because it means that women have an advantage or can engage in fasting more easily than men can. So those are the advantages of the female brain. Now, 